Hi, I'm Tony Kambik, Temporary Power Product Manager for Southwire, here to talk to you about our Temporary Power Distribution Equipment. Now at Southwire, if you watched our earlier videos, what we talk about is we basically make temporary power equipment that mimics what you see in a residential or commercial neighborhood, where you have some large power source, could be a generator, could be a utility connection point, that basically takes that power, steps it down via substations to something in your home. What we have here, and this would be for something like a medium-sized construction site, perhaps a commercial building or maybe a, a multi-use complex, uh, we have that equipment that does that same situation. Uh, it's just portable and modular, so you can connect it to your temporary power source and take it from job site to job site very easily. In this situation, just like in your home, we have a large generator. In this case, this thing is capable of 25,000 amps that produces that energy. Now, if we were to put duplex receptacles, and we, we do have one here, if we put duplex receptacles on the side of this generator, this entire side wall would be nothing but duplex receptacles. That's not efficient for the generator manufacturer, nor is it efficient for use for a contractor running extension cords. So just like we saw in earlier videos, what we do is we have a 50 amp circuit breaker and a 50 amp wiring device that enables that user to connect the temporary power distribution box system. So in this case, we have a temp box cable. We're gonna mate it in here. We're gonna twist that in place. And now we can run this to our temporary power distribution boxes. In this case, these boxes are our most common item. They allow 50 amps coming in and they have six outputs at 120 volts, as well as a seventh output at 250 volts. Now, when I plug this in here, Now that it's connected, we have the same situation we you have in your house. You have a circuit breaker that exists to protect the equipment and the wire. In this case, it's taking that 50 amp service and stepping it down to 20 amps. And you have your 20 amp receptacles where you can then plug in tools, lights, whatever you need to connect. We also have this GFCI here. And like I mentioned before in our other video, the GFCI protects the worker and it has three features that exist in these GFCIs that you don't find in your common ones in your household. Now, one other feature of these boxes is they have a 50 amp feed through. What a 50 amp feed through enables you to do is to connect multiple boxes in a daisy chain system so you can go from box to box. As you see here, we have one of our upgraded boxes that has a rugged roll cage on the side. Now, it's very important. You can go as many boxes as you want from your generator, but you're limited to 300 feet. After you go 300 feet from your power source, you're gonna get a phenomenon known as voltage drop. What voltage drop will do is it will damage motors on tools, it can damage LED fixtures. Most notably, it can damage the GFCIs that are inside of these boxes meant to protect the personnel. So if you are going more than 300 feet, we do make some products that enable to do a little bit further. However, I recommend that you consult with your local electrician for one of our higher amperage power products. Thank you for watching our video on temporary power. For more information, visit our website, southwire.com, and click on the temporary power product page.